Shall we bring the Hoover into Oriel Park? Yeah, I think so. Just to clean all the mess up after. And then, yeah. Hmm. But give me your prediction holding the Derry City flag. I know, I think it's going to be 1-0 uh, Dundalk, but I do want Derry to win, so... Oh, the Dundalk fans will kill you, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> it's tight, tight. Oh, you better give your prediction. Everyone's waiting. 1-0 Dundalk. All right, I'll tell you what, who's going to score? Ruben. Ruben? Ruben. He's going for that soul, is he?
Right lads, we have Sean, we have Kieran here. They're going to get their score, score prediction, even though Dundalk are one nil down. What's the score going to be? You're going to turn it around, do you reckon? Do you reckon, yeah? Brilliant stuff. You're calling it anyway. Great to get a goal at the end, wasn't it? Yep. Brilliant. Yeah, Hoover gave me jersey and everything, so we had 
Oh, did he? He's a great player, isn't he? You knew when that was on his head, it was a goal, didn't you, to be fair? Ah, look, there he is. <laughs> oh, very good, very good. Well done. Oh. Well, myself and Billy guys are just trying to catch our breath there as I finished Derry City 1, uh, Dundalk 1, or the other way around really, at Oriel Park. And uh, look, it got mental at the end. It really did get mental. What a result for Dundalk though. What a goal. Like typical Hooban though. T I said it there inside a few lads. Typical Hooban header. With Hooban I always say, it's not just the goals he scores. It's the bloody important goals he scores, to be fair. And... Look, I can turn their scores in the first half for Derry. <clears throat> and I think Derry are the better side in the first half, to be honest, and deserve their lead. Um, had a couple of chances as well. Dundalk were playing very high, and I always felt Bowen was in danger of getting caught. A couple of little chances for Derry in that sense. Deserved he went in at half time. Second half, Derry were more defensive, to be honest. And the more the half wore on, the more Dundalk came into the game. And had a couple of little flashes across goal and things like that that were a little bit dangerous, but... Um, right at the end, Huben's header uh, gives them a point and a v valuable point between second and third in the league. The happiest team tonight will be Shamrock Rovers, though. There's no question about it because nobody really gains as such on Shamrock Rovers. Obviously, a point each, but they'll be the happiest with that result. Oh, very, very good blog. Just a shout out, guys, to Larry O'Hagan and Jamie Hagan. That's right, one is Jamie Hagan and one is Larry O'Hagan. All right, boys, um, met them tonight. Um, supporters of the channel so cheers for that guys um i don't really know what to say now what did you think of the game i'm, I'm still a bit <laughs> yeah yeah i'm a little bit like that too i thought it was pretty even yeah. but um it came to the last few minutes um i thought like it, it's gonna be over mm -hmm. then huben scores a header and it goes mental and i get squished <laughs> as hell Lo lovely cross from bradley wasn't it yeah. yeah, Bradley was very good actually in this game, to I be like honest. Him. Yeah, he was good in this game as well. He can be a bit up and down, but yeah, he has got a good skill set. And I thought he was good in this game and it was fitting that he set up Huben. But yeah, guys, that's about it really. Let me think know what you think about the vlog. I feel tired. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit your bell notification button. And uh, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching, really.